Hello everyone. Welcome to my podcast The Hidden Power. I'm your host Dr. Susan Karat. The topic for today is pondering as your daily practice. You all may be knowing the meaning of pondering. It is about thinking uh, about something very carefully. Uh, that means in detail, considering all the factors, so that you will be able to make a decision or reaching a conclusion in the best possible manner. So, uh, when uh, we consider our life or we take our life, it's always better to take our life uh, day by day. rather than seeing it as a whole okay seeing it as a whole can help us to understand and feel good about our life and um, achieving our dreams and setting our dreams and goals and all those areas taking life as a whole is always good but when you wanted to uh, take decisions understand our uh, current situations and based on that you need to Uh, really form uh, your um, approaches or your decisions uh, it is better to have a daily pondering exercise done as a regular practice in one of my videos before i one of the podcast before i said um, you know uh, i discussed in detail about rumination as a daily practice so you know that the rumination is where you know like uh, the meaning of rumination is a, a deep or considered thought about something mainly things happened in a day and um uh in that particular video i have explained how the rumination must be done so carefully that means you know that the cow uh, when it eats uh, uh in the grass it's it's grabs everything it just swallows everything and when he goes to a very comfortable position in a in a resting period it takes uh, uh, whatever it has eaten in a very hurry bury way it takes to the mouth and again chew it and then again you know um, uh, send it to the stomach for better digestion so that's the rumination process that the cows are doing it's for the food but for us the mental process the rumination is so effective when you take then their thing happened in a day and you sit in a quiet place in a comfortable place in a peaceful place and you give a deep thinking into what has happened how it has happened so you bring everything that you just pushed into your subconscious you know knowingly or unknowingly and to bring it uh, back to the conscious and uh, you know really uh, chew it chew it uh, to the extent that you can just take every experiences and the key learnings into your mind and the rest uh, the waste can go to the bin and uh, archives can be uh, put it in that way but for this process the end after chewing what we supposed to do is we need to have pondering exercise done how do you do that the pondering just uh, look at the and their thing what has happened in that a uh, day the events and uh, situations you have been the feelings that you have got after doing the rumination exercise you consider uh, you know all those digested information and the feeling and um, uh, you take the best information and keep it in your um, uh, memory or store it in your memory for future references and everything so you have got a lot of experiences lot of information within yourself in your belief system there are so many different different beliefs that you have so you have a mental um, filtering system where your experience learning your feelings your values your ethics your morals everything is been stored there so based on that and what is the key learning and how the practices are happening today what could be uh, the best decision that means um, when you are pondering you need to sense what is happening around you that means taking all the factors and uh, how how it happened why it happened where it happened what happened when it happened and you know what uh, what should i do for making things right and how people are various people are influ- uh, inf- influenced or affected 
or benefited uh, uh, you know uh, in a particular event or something happened there and or some decision if i take uh, and then uh, then you need to see that you know um, you know what way and how i can exercise some kind of a control in a given situation maybe in a day there are very minor things can happen very major things can happen medium level can happen so you take each one and then have a pondering on things and then find out you know uh, what is the best logical um, decisions and how emotionally that will affect each one of you so uh, it is always good to have a uh, first to give a logical touch in, and then consider the emotions of people how emotionally in a feeling wise it is affecting each one and how do you handle that particular part of it and when you consider these things when you are pondering it is a deep thinking that you are giving but it's deep thinking it is not a kind of a, a wide thinking it's 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 deep means you have a limit there you don't wander there wandering uh, is not allowed in pondering okay so pondering means you are focused thinking and you bring every aspect you collect all the informations and you you if you need help you will seek help and in the pondering process if you think that the decision cannot be made by you you need somebody else's help what you need to you need to do is you know just keep it there and you don't worry about it just keep it there that it's not been resolved maybe tomorrow i'll check with someone and then i will take a decision on that or maybe i need little more information then you keep it there why i say pondering is very essential in your life because um uh, after rumination all the informations are just given to you and just store it in your memory and things which are not useful you will leave it but there are so many different situations you need to take a decision a personal decision of yours and or maybe you need to give a suggestion you may be contributing to a, a family or in the organization for a decision making process so you should be effective in that and also concluding a day is very important very essential for you to have a peaceful sleep so when you conclude a day with the rumination and pondering that's going to give your mind a peace of mind because certain things which are in the pondering you will understand that and in the rumination process and the pondering process you will understand that certain information and certain things which you cannot conclude on that day so what you will do okay keep it aside plus and you tell that okay i'm keeping it aside and that's not going to disturb my sleep because if it disturbs my sleep as an open thing and i will not be able to sleep so you what you do here is clearly um analyzing and uh, seeing where which information needs to be sorted out and stored and uh, you know like what needs to be concluded what cannot be concluded what decision needs to be made and what is um, require more resources so like that you segregate everything is kept in your mind in a proper places so that you can peacefully go to your bed and sleep so i would advise you that the practicing uh, rumination and pondering is one of the best uh, uh, you know decision or practical decision you would be taking in your life so i would say today start today to practice the rumination and pondering and as a daily exercise before you go to sleep the hidden power will make your personal transformation easy and flawless so listen to the hidden power podcast every day to empower your life This is your host Dr. Susan Kaurat. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, live well and laugh more. May God bless us all. Bye.